honoring the brave soldiers that lost their lives 80 years ago. They served our country and brought us to where we are. I'm Kendall Brandt in Tallahassee's downtown neighborhood. I spoke with many neighbors that spent part of their day remembering and learning the history of D-Day. June 6, 1944 is a day Joy Rowan remembers. I never forgot that day, even though I was just five. <laughs> she says she was with her mother after spending some time outside. The telephone rang and she picked it up. And when she did, it, it was bad news and she started to cry and breaking down. That was D-Day, that's what it was all about. And her, some of her family got killed in it. Thursday marked 80 years since that day when U.S. troops, along with the British Commonwealth and allies, landed on the shores of Normandy, France to fight the Nazi invasion of Europe. Director of the FSU Institute on World War II, Kurt Peeler, says it was a turning point for American history. It transformed our relationship with the world. We embraced internationalism after the war. Um, modern America really springs out of the New Deal and World War II, the generation that lived through both. It's known to be the largest naval, air, and land operation in history. With 132,000 troops on the ground, 18,000 paratroopers flying in, and 7,000 naval vessels all on the coast of France. People like Rowan came to the Challenger Learning Center Thursday for a free showing of the documentary D-Day, Normandy 1944. Marco Paredes brought his two sons, Xavier and Dominic, out to the center as well. Uh, I grew up uh, with my dad teaching me World War II history, and I have a love for military history, especially World War II. I think it's important that um, I pass that on to, to my boys. Rowan says she loves to see so many young people learning about the pivotal moment. As a former teacher and avid patriot, Rowan says she loves to see so many young people learning about the pivotal moment. It's wonderful. I wish everybody would come and see and know about it because most people don't know about it. If you want to learn more about some of the lives that were lost during World War II, FSU's Institute on World War II has a website that features the biographies of 10 soldiers that were awarded the Purple Heart after losing their lives in that war. In downtown Tallahassee, Kendall Bryant, ABC 27.